Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I have another episode of Budget Beauty Buys. Um, and quickly, I just wanted to tell you guys, if you guys are not subscribed to my channel, please don't forget to do so. And without further ado, let's get right in because there's a lot of stuff that I want to show you guys. The first product I want to show you guys is this one by Morphe. Um, I showed these in my Insta stories not too long ago. I actually found Morphe products at Marshall. really come off as it is in camera, but it is really pretty. And I'm so excited, even though I said um, I wasn't going to buy more highlighters, but I just had to, girl. I really just had to. The next product I found and really impressed me was the Becca and Jaclyn Hill Perfector in cream and champagne pop so this one is the highlighter that they made with Jaclyn Hill from Becca this was ten dollars it is a little pricey for the size but I mean it is a Becca product and obviously this is like a limited edition um highlighter so it really didn't mean much um to find this for ten dollars it looks a little smushed but only because the little film thingy melted when I was having these products in my car obviously on the way here they melted so it looks a little you know junky but i was so impressed to find jacqueline hill products at marshall's and as you guys can see 10.99 the next product i want to show you guys also from marshall's it is the stella little white lies liquid eyeshadow this one is in the shade pink wink wink and these are their liquid eyeshadows. This one was $5.99 at Marshalls. Let me just show you guys um, how it looks. These, they are so pretty. I think these are part of their pastel line that they did with Stila. These are, like I said, liquid eyeshadows, but they do have, seems to be like glitter or some type of like pearlescence finish. Um, but these were, like I said, $5.99 at Marshalls. I found another of the liquid shadows but this one is in mint myth and obviously it's it is a minty kind of shade I really I already used this one I'll put you guys a little screenshot here of that it's also on my Instagram if you guys don't follow me there I just posted this on my birthday and I was wearing that but I will still post the picture so you guys can see the way it looked and the next product I found at Marshalls was the Finley Retinol and Peptides Deep Sleep Face Oil. This was $6.99. And let me tell you guys, this is a dupe for that Sunday Riley one, except this one does not have the price tag that the Sun Sunday Riley one has. And it is amazing. My skin loves this stuff. It It's never looked better than since I started using that, so I'm so happy and I only paid $6 for it. So the next product I see is from Becca. This is the Ultimate Coverage Longwear Concealer. Um, I got mine in Birch and this one was $5.99 at Marshalls. And I also found another one of the Too Faced Glitter Pop. This one is in Lucky Bitch. Hence the shopping spree and it looks like this. It is such a pretty just regular gold liner. These are so good. Um, if you're trying to do like a pop of glitter in the eye or something like that. This one was $4.99 at Marshalls. And I also found the, um, oh, another one of the Stila ones. This one is in the Peach Pretense. This is what she looks like. It's more peachy. I haven't used this one, but they really work exactly like the other liquid and glitter shadows. Um, and from Smashbox, I found the Smashbox Crystallized Photo Finish Primer Water. And this one was a little bit pricier. This one was $17.99, but it is Smashbox, which does tend to be a little bit more on the expensive side. Um, nonetheless, I still wanted to buy it because this one's the Jasmine and Rose. So it's like, girl, I need to have this. So I picked it up. The next product I found at Marshall's was the Laneige or Laneige sleeping masks. These are the lip sleeping mask mini kits. So it means that it comes with all the four little scents. 
I actually already own this one in a full size. This one is the grapefruit. I mean, sorry, this one's the berry. This one's the grapefruit. This one's the apple lime. And this one is the mint choco, which is probably like a mint chocolate one. And these are supposed to be like travel friendly, which if you guys are familiar with me, you guys know I love these lip masks. I already own this one in um, a full size version. So I was thinking maybe I should throw this little mini one, just one of these, which is one that I have. Maybe I should throw this one in a giveaway because I do want to do a little fall giveaway. Let me know in the comments if you guys would like to see this in a future giveaway. But um, the next product I see, okay, this one has me very, very excited because this one is the Anastasia Loose Highlighter Trio. I saw this not too long ago at Ulta and it was still like $40. So the fact that I saw it at Marshalls and this is $16.99 for all three of them, I was like, I have to take this. I have to take it and I bought it. And also from Too Faced, I found the Hangover R RX, sorry, the Hangover RX 3-in-1 peach scented spray this one was $12.99 at marshall's and i was just blown away it's getting a little bit more on the pricey side but you know nonetheless it was still a good overall purchase and then i went to marsh to tj maxx and i found the kat von d metal crush illuminating highlighter this is the pink one which a lot of people can say like where would you use this but you could actually use this as an eyeshadow you could also use it as a luminous blush this one is in the roses shook and this one was a shocking price to me because it was three dollars and fifty cents and this is a gorgeous highlighter so i don't know i think that i should probably include this one in a giveaway too I'm starting to already see a future giveaway, you guys, and just let me know if you guys are interested. The next product I found at TJ Maxx was the Too Faced Love Light Prismatic Highlighter. This one was $8, and this is the one in the shade Blinded by the Light. I actually own the other two. Um, it can, it kind of comes like in a little presentation like this. This one is Ray of Light, which is the rose gold one and i love these highlighters so uh the fact that i found this one like at a fraction of a cost i was like i was blown away i was really blown away by the price and the next thing i found at tj maxx was the laura mercier flawless fusion ultra wear foundation this one was 12.99 and this seems to be a pretty new foundation maybe laura mercier just made a bunch of them and they send it the rest of them to tj maxx but i am so happy because i've been wanting a laura mercier foundation for a while i was just not committed to pay full price so the fact that i found one that is my shade i was like it has been meant to be so the next foundation that i found and yes i said foundation this is the nars all day luminous weightless foundation now i have already hauled this before from marshall's so the fact that now tj maxx has it it was 14 dollars, and it was in my shade last time it was like a couple of shades lighter than me but i still kept it um but this one is exactly my shade it is medium one syracuse or syracuse something like that you know how NARS has like weird names. But nonetheless, I still picked it up. The next product, oh, this one was actually from Marshalls. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Loose Setting Powder. I was like, oh my God. This one was $12.99. This is a particularly new product from Anastasia. And as you guys can see, it has a very thick seal. So it has not been compromised. And look at this baby. Oh my God, I am excited. If you guys can't tell from my face, I am very, very excited. And I also found a Glam Glow Glow Setter. This one was on clearance for $8.49. So I picked it up. Obviously it's a small little um, glow setter, but 
I was like, I've never tried this setting spray before, so I want to actually try it now because a lot of people rave about this product and I never got a chance to buy it because it was a little expensive for my budget. But yeah, and then another trip I made to Marshall's, I found these Dashing Diva Gloss Gel Strips. So she actually has a um, Facebook and an Instagram page, which is, which is Dashing Diva underscore USA. And I thought these were so cute. Like, it's like gel polish on the go. It says that you don't need a line. It says that it wears for 14 days. And it has a file and everything you need to fix your nails. And it was only $4.99. So I was like, girl, I'm for it with this quarantine thing. Sometimes the salons are closed and you need like a quick fix. So I was all for it. The next product I found at Marshall's, I was so excited because this is the Urban Decay en Endode Brow Voluminizer Primer and Color. This was $7.99, you guys. And the fact that an Urban Decay brow product was there, I was all for it. I was like, give them to me, give them to me now. So, yay! And I also found the Urban Decay Naked Skin Weightless Coverage Found. I'm sorry, Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer. This one was $6.99 and this is in the shade um, Medium. So I'm very, very excited for this. I have a lot of concealers now. And the next product also from Marshalls was $6.99. This is another liquid eyeshadow from Stella. But this one is in the shade Kitten, which seems to me to be kind of like a champagne color, kind of like what I'm wearing today in my inner corner. And I was like, this is perfect. Um, I don't know what, about you guys, but sometimes, I don't know if it's like the climate or what, sometimes I really struggle with the shimmers for them to like, like look really like glowy and stuff. And the fact that this is a liquid shadow in the shade that I almost use all the freaking time, I was like, I'm gonna take it. It was waiting for me for a long time, so I'm going to go ahead and take that with me. And next product I found was by Pretty Vulgar. This was a $5.99. This is an eyebrow pencil. And I've seen some of the Pretty Vulgar products in store. Unfortunately, I think I picked this one a little bit too light because it's the Duchess 51. And I think the day I applied it, it was looking a little light on me, but... I could always just give it to somebody that I know. Um, the pencil is really, really cute. And on one side, obviously, it has a little pencil. And the other side, a little spoolie. So this is a pretty pencil. It's just not my shade, unfortunately. But I'm going to repurpose her. So don't you worry. The next product I found was from Laura Geller. And this one was $6.99. Now, you guys know that I've been really obsessed with Laura Geller products recently. Um, since I started finding them at Marshalls and TJ Maxx, I just really started like going into her products. Um, if I could only open this without shitting the freaking packaging. This is the Celestial Glow um, palette. And you guys know that I got another palette like this from her. I think it was also from Marshalls. And it was only $6. And it had some other shades like these highlighters. So to a lot of people, maybe these are like really small. But I mean, for $6, it's basically like paying $2 for each. And I feel like it's a good investment because you do get to try um, different highlighters. I feel like sometimes, like I'm speaking for myself, like sometimes I get a little too carried away with just one particular highlighter and I never like to venture out and I feel like these type of palettes are like the perfect way to venture into new products because sometimes people like me are too afraid to buy like the whole version of this and you're like what if I don't like it blah 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 and with palettes like this I feel like you're more prone to liking it and to trying products in general. So also I found another of the brow endowed pencils um, this one was also $7.99. Um, this one is a little bit darker, I think. This one's brown sugar, which is like a soft medium brown. But I mean, good for you, Marshalls, that you're getting all these Urban Decay products, you know? And the next product that I was really excited because my daughter actually loves trolls. Um, this is from Pure Cosmetics, and it is the Pure and 
Trolls Water Pressed Pigment Palette. These colors, you guys, I did a little Insta story on these palettes. They are so cute and so highly pigmented. I'm trying to get it out so I can show you guys. Um, obviously, my daughter wanted this, but I don't think I'm going to give it to her because they're pressed pigments. Um, but they are super cute. The colors just... They just speak my name. They're so pretty and they look to be super pigmented. Um, I want to do an eye look with this particular palette um, because one of my favorite trolls is Poppy. So I was like, you know what? I need to do a look with this palette. If you guys would be interested, let me know. Um, and the best thing of everything was that I got this one for $4.99. So I was like, oh my God, I have to take them. I couldn't say no to them. Um, unfortunately, I only found this one. I wish I could have found all the little troll palettes, um, but I only found that one and the classical, which this one is the pop. But I wish I could have gotten all of them just because now that I see how pretty they are, um, I wish I could have found them all so I can collect them. You know, I'm, I'm a makeup collector, if you guys hadn't noticed. <laughs> but... Um, these palettes are so pretty, you guys. This one, the classical one, is a little bit more on the neutral side. But nonetheless, it is so pretty. I love this. Like, I love the shade right here. It is everything. You guys want to see a little palette. I mean, a little, uh, a little impressions or a little look with these palettes. Um, and this one was also $4.99. So, they're so cute. I wish I could put one of these in a giveaway, but <laughs> stingy the house when it comes to these. I'm sorry, guys, but I really like them. The next product I found at Marshall's was another one of the little glitter pop liners. This one is Super Fun Night. This one was also $5.99. And this one looks like this. I was like, oh my God, this is like perfect for like New Year's or just in general looks that i feel like i never venture into like like silver glitter and now that i'm starting to be a little bit more adventurous i'm like okay i could do a look as i could do a super pretty look with that liner the next product i found was from Too faced this is a sparkling pineapple eyeshadow palette this one was only 12 dollars i've been wanting to buy a palette like from the fruity collection because if you guys didn't know i nearly almost have everything from the fruity collection that i have bought in from marshall's um at such cheap prices so when i saw this in clearance i was like i have to have her the color story is not that unique you might say but i feel like there's still interesting shades and i feel like we could still get a pretty nice look from these so yeah let me know what you guys think of it but so far i love it and the packaging is so cute. Look at that. Like, I feel like just to display them in my vanity, I mean, they would be super pretty to display. From Anastasia, this is the Loose Pigment. And these were $5.99 at Marshalls. And this is what the pigment looks like. I haven't really opened this, but it looks to be very promising. And the next product I found was the Pretty Vulgar Extreme Volume Mascara. This one is a super mini one. It was $4.99. But I feel like mascara dries out really fast anyway. So it's okay. It doesn't bother me that it's a little one. Um, I just like I was saying about the, uh, about the um, Laura Geller palettes. I feel like you get to try products that you would not normally pick up at a normal price. So I just went ahead and picked up that mascara. If I don't like it, well, it's a super tiny mini one and we'll be good to go. The last product before I leave is the Morphe Bronzer. This is a bronzer and contour um, little duo. This one was $6.99. So I feel like the other Morphe highlighter was also $6.99 based on this one. And this one is in the shade Fantabulous. I haven't tried this one if you guys were wondering but she looks like this i thought it was a little deep to be honest but i feel like in the summer i tend to go for something a little bit more warm like this maybe the lighter side would be good for like winter time for me because i am a little on the more medium side but i don't know i haven't really tried it yet um 
if i do i will let you guys know as soon as i try it and yes that my friends i feel like that completes this haul um so yeah hopefully you guys liked all the products that i showed you if you guys want to see any of these products or you want to hear my thoughts on them let me know it doesn't have to be in a youtube video it could also be through instagram i'm gonna put my instagram handle right here just in case you guys want to go check it out sometimes i do a little stories or i do quicker hauls on there because i feel like i don't have to edit as much but with that being said, thank you so much for watching and until next time, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.